Hey, welcome to my bathroom. I know it's been a long time since we've been together last, and you might be noticing something has changed just a little bit. Um, it's not the glasses. Yeah, you know. Uh, there's a little addition to the whole uh, hirsute family here, and you may be wondering, in the last year, maybe um, I became a hipster, maybe I found religion, uh, maybe I just did a Rick Van Winkle thing and slept under a tree and woke up with a beard. But no, in fact, I have been growing this out all in the name of facial hair research, all for you guys. And in this series of videos, I'm going to start sharing what I know about beards. And also in this series of videos, I'm going to be trimming this thing back a little bit because it's starting to get pretty warm outside and this thing was okay in the winter, but uh, <laughs> it's got a little nasty now that it's summertime out. Uh, but um, I do want to share with you guys a little bit of information about beards for all you beard curious guys. Um, and I'll tell you, I have let this thing grow pretty wild. What I got here now is a good, maybe 10 months of growth. And it's it's it, it's a lot. You can't see my collar anymore. You certainly can't see my chin. Um, it's about 10 months of growth. Originally, I thought I was going to grow a little George Michaels, kind of 5 o'clock shadow. But um, that's a lot of work to maintain every day. <laughs> oh, and I didn't realize what I was getting into. So when I let it grow out, I styled it for a while. Then I thought it'd be cool just to let it go and then start to trim it back and see what I can learn about it. So I'm going to be sharing that with you. So right off the top, what you're seeing now is just the beard au naturel. Um, I just let it grow. Um, the only things I've done is I trimmed the sideburns a little bit and I've trimmed straight across the cheeks a little bit just to give it a little uh, delineation. Um, and because uh, the sideburns, uh, they get a little shaggy and the whole thing gets kind of shaggy uh, if the sideburns are kind of shaggy and sort of see what I'm, I'm talking about. So. Um, so that's the only concession I've really done. Now, I've combed it down. I actually started using beard oil in this thing, and I didn't use it for a while. I've been getting a lot of ads for it online, but the idea of putting oil in your beard seemed really nasty. I was thinking like a drippy egg roll kind of thing. Um, but in fact, it turns out that the beard oil, it, you just use a little bit of it, and it's what they call a soluble oil, and it, um, it, it kind of dries for you nerds. Um, it actually polymerizes. There's a chemical process when an oil is exposed to air, but for all intents and purposes, it kind of dries and it leaves your um, your uh, facial hair kind of neat and shiny and bouncy, the way they used to say in the old shampoo commercials. It's not as stiff or as strong as uh, hair gel or as mustache wax, of course, but, um, but it does just kind of get it together. Now, I'll tell you also, um, one other thing I started doing was using conditioner in this thing, which again, at first I didn't do it, but girls and I were saying, oh, you got to put conditioner in it. And it, it's been a long time since I bought hair care products, as you may consider. Um, but uh, the conditioner was, was actually a good thing because hair tends to dry out, as I've discovered. And I, I kind of combed it down. It's in pretty good condition, but um, without the conditioner, it actually started looking more like this. And... Uh, and it's a look. I mean, some people might kind of want to go for the natural, but uh, but it was a little shaggy, you know. And um, and it's an option if you like the look. If you want to go for the uh, the natural, then just soap and water, and you're fine. But if you want to go for something a little more styled, then the first step is use conditioner when you're washing the thing, and it'll it'll help the hair stay. Um, I guess a little more moist and a little easier, a little more manageable, I guess is the word they use in the shampoo commercials, a little more manageable. So conditioner, if that's the look you're going for. Now some of you guys have very curly hair, some of you have straight hair. Mine, as you can probably see, is, is pretty straight. Um, so uh, so yeah, so it's, it's just difference in texture. Everyone's going to be a little different. Now um, the aftercare, of course, as I was saying before, beard oil. Um, it's actually not really drippy at all. You just put a little bit in and um, it really helps make your beard more manageable. I can't believe I'm saying that, but there you go, manageable. So I'm going to put a little of that in my beard and I don't know if the resolution is going to be sharp enough for you to see the difference, but let's give it a shot. So hang on one second and I'll be right back. 
Okay, so I've got a little oil here. Um, there's a lot of preparations that you can get. Um, specialty things for beard oil, or there's hair oils now. Um, usually they're a combination of argan oil and uh, or some other oil, macadamia oil. Um, I'm not really all that up on hair care products, to be perfectly honest. But um, what I was using is pure argan oil. Somebody recommended it. Got it online. I got two ounces. It's lasted a long time because I just use a little, little squirt. Um, and what I do is just uh, put a little drop in the palm of my hand and just rub it together and just really work it through that sucker. And I make sure I get the sideburns. Um, once I start trimming this thing, which you and I are going to do together, I'm going to uh, I'm going to trim down these sideburns because I think that's uh, a really important thing in making it look neat. Very important concept when you consider beards. If you're familiar with the mustaches, uh, which uh, you probably are if you've seen the last video or if you've grown a mustache, a mustache is comparatively two-dimensional or one-dimensional even. A mustache sits right on the front of your face, sits right there under your nose, and it mostly just affects the way your face looks. But a beard is three-dimensional because it affects the way your face looks head-on, but also as you turn, and you can see I can use a haircut in the back there, but uh, it also affects the shape. And depending upon um, the shape of your face, depending upon how you want to look to the world, you can style a beard differently and actually make the shape of your face look a little more different. So it's not just head-on, it's also side to side. Now I've just been letting this grow out wild, as I was telling you before, so uh, so it's pretty crazy. But um, but as we start to trim it back, um, it's going to be, um, you're going to see how different lines and things can affect your face. So I put the beard oil in there and I'll just comb it in. Um, it's a little greasy. It's actually going to get absorbed by the hair, I suppose, or dry. And it won't be very greasy after that. And um, anyway, so this is the first step in, uh, in you know, if you're going for the sort of biker look or uh, uh, renegade preacher look, you're good as gold. You're ready to roll. But if you want to trim it back a little more, watch some of the other videos. So this was just the basic do's and don'ts of uh, beards. In a nutshell, the do's are consider the look you want to get first off. Consider um, some uh, conditioner when you wash it. Consider a little beard oil afterwards to keep it manageable and bouncy and shiny, if that's important to you. Uh, the do's, of course, um, just consider the shape a little bit. Like I said, this is pretty raw. You and I are going to be trimming this thing back together and seeing some different looks and get out of it. Um, and like I said, I shaved my cheeks just a little bit to give it a little squareness and to bring out the mustache. And also, just watch the sideburns, because the sideburns, more than anything else, I think, will determine the shagginess of the whole thing. So um, that's enough for now. Um, it's a couple of things to think about. Uh, feel free to write me back. I'd love to hear anything you have to say. And uh, keep watching for some more beard videos.